Be Marsh Boxing, what's happening world? Back at it with another boxing video. Man, it's 2020, 2021. It's, it's quite seldom that I do make any videos that is positive videos, you know, in this boxing climate that we in. It's so hard to find or make some good positive videos, and unfortunately, this will not be one of them. All right. Let's start off with Gilberto Ramirez. Gilberto Ramirez, Zurdo from Mexico, the first Mexican ever to become a super middleweight champ, all right? Zurdo Ramirez has withdrawn from a clash with the man Marcus Brown for the WBC uh, light heavyweight title eliminator, you know what I mean? Um, uh, according to the WBC, Ramirez and his handlers had asked for you know, an extended period of time to, for negotiations. <coughs> Excuse me, for negotiations with the man uh, Marcus Brown. But at the last minute, they backed out of the um, negotiations, and because of this unexpected withdrawal from the purse bid, the purse bid has been, uh, which was scheduled for tomorrow. Um, I believe tomorrow would be today, because I'm reading this article today on Friday. The uh, whatever whatever date it is today, the twelfth, all right. Um, the purse bid has now been canceled. You know what I mean? Zudo Ramirez, he was uh, he fought in um, December. He fought a dude by the name of Alfonso Lopez, and um, he stopped him in the tenth round. And that was the first time the man Zudo had been in the ring since April of twenty nineteen when he fought the man Tommy Carpensi and stopped him in four rounds. You know. Um, <clears throat> Zuda Ramirez had been going through a lot of promotional issues with top rank, with with Bob Arum, uh, his former promoter, you know what I mean? But now he he promotes himself. He You know, he got his own promotional company, and that's actually who uh, promoted his last fight in December, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Zuda had vacated his WBO 168-pound title, so automatically when you move up to 175, as he did, he should have got first dibs at the light heavyweight title. But he didn't, obviously, you know, probably um, Bob Am threw the monkey wrench in the game and said, man, this dude, they trying to be with my promotional company, so forget about it. WBO, don't hook him up with no shot at the 175-pound uh, title. But it didn't matter. The man, Zuda Ramirez, was going the WBC route. But it looks like the man, you know, this, this bout between him and Marcus Brown was going to be for the interim. WBC title because the man ought to better be been out of action. He hasn't fought since October of 2019. As a matter of fact, he hasn't defended the the unified titles that he got since he beat the man um, Alexander Vazdik in October of 2019. So he's been out the ring for a whole lot, a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. So the man better be is fighting on March 20th against Adam Dienis in Moscow, Russia. And look, it might be the man Marcus Brown fighting the man uh, Better Beef rather than Zuda Ramirez. Now Zuda Ramirez, I don't know why he backed out of these negotiations. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm not sure. You know, now he's wearing different hats, being a fighter and a promoter. Maybe he ain't get his mathematics down right. You know what I mean? Or his his accounting or his finances right. Whatever it is. He can't afford to be missing out on these title title or title eliminated elimination opportunities, you know what I mean? And uh, that would have been a very good fight. Maybe Zuda Ramirez backed out last minute because you don't want no smoke with Marcus Brown. I don't know what it is, but at the end of the day, it's not a good look, you know what I mean? All right, so that's one story I got for y'all. The second one is a um, very sad story. Sad story, I'm no, no, nobody died. Don't get it twisted. Nobody died or anything. But a fight that I made a breakdown and prediction video for almost a month ago, <coughs> a fight that was supposed to be happening this weekend for the WBO 175-pound title, vacant title between Maxim Vlasov and Joe Smith Jr. Well, that fight is canceled. Maxim Vlasov tests positive for COVID-19. Damn shame. I'll read you some quotes for what the man Maxim Vlasov had to say. Vlasov said, quote, I am devastated with the postponement of my world title fight against Joe Smith Jr. I have been following strict protocols. I have done regular testing with negative results and I have no symptoms. I am well prepared and had an, ex and had an excellent training camp. I look forward to rescheduling of the fight and the opportunity to display my world-class skills, end quote. 
it is what it is, man. Glass off versus Joe Smith Jr. is off. Unfortunately, that was the headliner for this card um, this weekend. So the fight between Richard Coma and Jackson Marinas has been elevated to the main event in this particular fight. will be happening at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN, the worldwide leader of sports. You know what I mean? So unfortunately, not too much positive news, but it had to be done, had to be said, had to be known. If you were looking forward to this WBO clash, I was looking forward to it, you know. When I first saw Joe Smith Jr., when I seen him fight guys like I found four on PBC, on NBC at the time, this had to be at least 20, 2014. Look, I had never heard of this guy from Long Island who's a construction worker. This guy, this guy is, is, is not a full-time boxer. He has a full, he has a part-time, actually, he's a full-time construction worker and i believe now he has his little um like uh what do you call it landscaping company you know what i mean he's a tough guy he works outside with his hands i didn't believe this guy could become a world champion even when he knocked the man bernard hopkins out of the ring uh, old bernard hopkins at that at 52 years old when he knocked him out the ring stopped him i believe in the eighth round i didn't see this guy becoming a world champion exciting fighter to watch absolutely you know but here he is in 2021, got an opportunity to fight for the WBO world title. And I was happy for him, you know. The man beat the heck up out of, uh, uh, what's the guy, the Canadian, the, 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 the Colombian based out of Canada. What's his name? Elidi Alvarez. He smashed him, demolished him, destroyed him, you know. Earned his title shot. Now the fight versus Maxim Vlasov. Now what do you know? COVID-19 throws a monkey wrench in the game. Damn shame, man. Very upsetting because I was looking forward to this fight. Tomorrow night on Saturday, hopefully Joe Smith Jr. will not be, uh, won't hold his head down, stay strong, and you'll get your opportunity. Same with Maxim Vlasov. You know, this COVID-19 thing is, is uh, you know, sometimes these guys like Maxim Vlasov, I just read his quotes. The man says he had no symptoms whatsoever, not, none at all. But look, he tested positive, you know, so it's really difficult to gauge who really has COVID-19 and who doesn't. And damn shame, man. We want, I really wanted to see this fight. But it is what it is. And I also wanted to see the man um, Zudo Ramirez versus Marcus Brown. So time will tell if these two fights that have been canceled, one due to, well, I, one due to COVID-19, the other due to um, Zudo Ramirez backing out of a purse bid. We shall see in 2021 if these fights will be remade. Be Marsh Boxing. Leave your thoughts and comments. If you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content, and I'm going to catch you all on the next one. I'm gone. Peace.